welcome to Late Night with Joe Cole. What's up, guys? How are we? Um, welcome to Late Night. I'm your host, Joe Cole. Um, so let's just get started with the news. Um, holy Ebola, Chuck, right? That's what's going on with that. It's pretty crazy. It's a big deal. Yeah. Um, two Yale students uh, traveled to Liberia and are being quarantined uh, due to possibly being exposed to the Ebola virus. Um, you know what? Good. Yale, keep them there and, and keep them away from us. I understand you guys are mad, but is it really fair? I mean, we pee on their buildings and they give us a deadly disease. I don't think, I don't think that's fair. It's not a, it's not a fair trade away. But um, uh, the fifth patient in the United States uh, was diagnosed uh, with the deadly Ebola virus. Uh, I, I would think this was a bigger deal, except health science students don't seem too worried about it. No? No, no, no. They, don't, they seem to be more worried about, um, about another fatal illness that has struck all, struck all of them. What's that, Joe? I think it's called uh, MTV. The midterm virus? Oh. <laughs> um, no, but seriously, I've heard, I've heard health science students say that they were actually legitimately afraid of dying from the midterm, so I don't I'd think be, it's a little rough. I'd be worried about offending them, but they literally can't even leave the library. Yeah, so they're probably not here. It's whatever. Um, what else is in the news? Uh, Kim Jong-un uh, has been absent, and he's, he's missed several uh, international meetings uh, with government officials uh, underneath him going to the meetings instead. And yeah, so nobody knows where the guy is. Have they checked the White House? Because a lot of people have been getting in there. I mean, that haircut is pretty recognizable, but he could definitely pass for like a little Asian kid on a tour. Like, he definitely could. If he just had like a little disposable camera, he'd fit right in. Yeah. It's totally indiscernible yeah, from all the other tourists. he would not tourists. get recognized if he had a camera. Um, but people actually think uh, Kim Jong-un is ill. No, that's his father, Kim Jong-il. No, no, no. <laughs> Kim, not Kim Jong Il, ill, like sick ill. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, like yeah. That. You think he's ill, and I heard she's actually, uh, or I heard his little sister is actually taking over for him and, and running the country now. It must be terrible, you know, a, a younger sister getting all the spotlight. Mm, something I'm definitely familiar with. Yeah, we we have some we have some sibling issues. Yes. Me and you. Yeah, sure. that's for sure. That's for sure. It must be tough though. I mean, having to deal with that. I, I grew up in just crying about it nonstop. My yeah. parents would barely even console me because <laughs> they were busy giving her all the attention. Yeah. Well, you know what? Screw him. He's probably just mad that he has a name that doesn't fit his gender and she does. <laughs> um, but anyway, what's next? What do we got? Um, oh, yeah. Uh, something. What's going on? Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> after there is a woman um, who, after failing to find anyone, any, any man, she failed to find love. Um, she actually decided to marry herself. And she, she's, from, she's from London and decided to marry herself. And she's given herself a ring and everything. And apparently, she's, she's really excited for the, the honeymoon uh, because she's been saving herself for marriage. <laughs> um, but what else we got? Um, uh, Michael Phelps uh, is, has been in a bit of trouble as he's, he's been suspended for six months uh, from the USA swimming team. Uh, due to a DUI, uh, and apparently Phelps is really upset, you know, being sad with nothing to do for six months. Gee, I wonder how he'll spend his time and numb the pain. <laughs> it's a great punishment. I don't think the USA uh, thought, that, thought that one over, did they, Chuck? No, he really did make a big splash in the news this week, Joe. <laughs> Surprisingly, he's not in hot water for the incident. I actually, I, I heard that uh, 
that the reason why he wasn't able to drive was because of all the uh, the chlorine fumes getting in his getting in his brain. Really? Yeah. Ironically, this is the first time in his life that it's not going swimmingly. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for him, but uh, lay off the pipe, Michael Phelps. Um, what's next? Uh, oh, the CDC uh, released a report uh, identifying the number of sexually transmitted diseases in each state, um, and Maryland topped the charts, proving that wedding crashers wasn't lying. Crabs and football is really what Maryland does. <laughs> they are feeling they it now, Mr. Krabs. Yeah, they are feeling it now, Mr. Krabs. <laughs> <laughs> um, Seattle, um, Seattle. <laughs> I was not ready for the SpongeBob reference. We didn't go over that one before the show, Charlie. Just came to you. Caught me off guard. Um, Seattle um, has decided to uh, change Columbus Day uh, to Indigenous People Day because they're trying to represent uh, both sides of the spectrum. Um, and also to, to go on with that theme, they've, they've tried to continue the effort and change uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Day to White People Are So Sorry Day. <laughs> And we really are. We we're really are. The city of Seattle already ordered the edible arrangement for yeah, they're everyone, over, yeah. all the population. We are, we are very sorry. One large conglomerate of berries and chocolate. It's a, it's a countdown till we're, till we're number two. Um, <laughs> J.K. Rowling uh, has been in the news. Um, she, uh, she may have revealed that she's going to write uh, another Harry Potter book uh, by writing a, little, a riddle online to her fans. Uh, yeah, the riddle, riddle actually read, uh, write another book I may about a boy wizard who beat a reptilian and people will go out and pay, which is why my net worth is one billion. <laughs> yeah, those are, those are really cash cows, those books. Huh? Indeed. Yeah. Um, and lastly, oh my God, you hear about this? Uh, Raven Simone. Mm. Raven Simone came out and said that she wasn't African American. <laughs> That's so Raven. <laughs> <laughs> That's so Raven. I mean, I'm not trying to offend anyone, but like, if Raven isn't Afri African American, then Kyle from the Piazza Pit isn't. Kyle, where do you come from? You look a little miscellaneous. Well, I actually, I am a little miscellaneous. Yeah. Uh, French Canadian and wow. Jewish and uh, Spanish yes. and North African. I actually, I am oh. African. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, but I don't, really, I don't know. really like to, uh, you know, I don't really like to get into that right. too much. Why is that? Ladies love a mystery, Jeff. Oh. <laughs> wow, I should like start telling people that I don't know what I am either. Yeah? All right. Anyway, with that, uh, we got a great show for you guys. Give it up for the Piazza Pit. Two. Piazza Pit. Three, four. <laughs> Do I usually go this way? No, you usually go that way. What is it? I didn't understand. Okay. You anyway. walked into a chair. Um, so, uh, for our first segment, um, last week, we've been talking about this a lot, last week was uh, Fall Fest, um, and uh, one of our correspondents, Becky Stone, uh, went out and messed with some people and trolled some people um, who, were, who were attending Fall Fest, and it's a, it's a pretty funny segment, so uh, take a look. Here's an interesting factual question. What country did country come from? Texas. Right? Like horses. Country. Horses. <laughs> like Japan or something. India's number two, baby. Number two. Country, it's coming from Tennessee, Nashville. Genius. Hunter Ways, have you heard of him? Absolutely. Yeah, have you, do you love his new song, The Herp? Yes, I do. If you could describe the single polio in one word, what would it be? That's, that's pretty hard. Like, there's so many words. Like, kind of a summer. Summer, yeah, definitely summer. Yes, I love that song. Yeah, what's your favorite lyric from that song? Um, I have herpes. <laughs> His super famous song, The Salutes, have you heard it? I've heard that song once or twice, yeah. No, it's good, it's all yeah, about it the tenderloin. I honestly didn't like country music until I heard that song. Kramer. Janet Creamer. No, not Janet, it's Jana Kramer. I think we're saying the same thing, Janet Creamer. You're saying Janet. One Tree, Two Hills. There's no two. You know what I'm talking about, there's no two. Wait, what do you mean there's two? She's the hot one from Two Trees, One Hill. <laughs> oh, I love that show. I watch that all the time. Guess who's coming? Luke Bryan. No, he's not. I kid you not, Luke Bryan is coming. Luke Bryan is going to be I here. No! No way. Janet Creamer. Yeah, OK. Janet Creamer. You excited for Janet Creamer? Yeah. You excited for the tenderloins? The tenderloins just went on. <laughs> the tenderloins. <laughs> Steak. 
<laughs> not not steak. Maybe. Yeah, Tyler the Creator. He's pretty country when he wants to be. Oh wow, that's awesome. Yeah. Jenna Kramer. Love Jenna Kramer. Some guy named Tyler and the Hemorrhoids. Don't Who's your favorite? The Hemorrhoids. <laughs> Have you heard his new album, Homo Sapiens Sapiens? A little bit of it, yeah. It's on YouTube. Jenna Kramer. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jenna Kramer. So we're good. There's no T. What country did country music come from? I'm not that smart. <laughs> Is it A, Tennessee, B, Israel, or C, Texas? A. A, Tennessee. Out of boy. What are you most excited about for today? Girls. Why? Because girls are hot. Why? Because they have boobs. I don't know what else to say other than why. Because well, that's evolution. Charles Darwin, so survival of the fittest. Is that right? You heard it here first. You survive with boobs, people. Wow. <laughs> that kid in the hat definitely had one too many. Anyway. Um, so thank you for that. Uh, our next segment, um, hockey season has officially begun, or no, it begins this weekend. Um, they had an exhibition game this past weekend, but the official season begins this weekend. Um, and uh, QU men's hockey is probably the most popular sport uh, given our national competitiveness. And uh, Charlie, wouldn't you say that uh, hockey players are seen as pretty cool on campus here? Yeah, I'd say they kind of just skate through life, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> Getting pretty sick of it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, tell me about it. Um, but anyway, uh, although they are really cool, um, they were uh, given some awards that aren't so cool, uh, kind of similar to awards that seniors are given uh, in their yearbook. Um, so inspired by a, a popular bit on The Tonight Show, we present uh, Late Night Superlatives. I'm pumped up. Wow. All right, so who do we got up first? Do we have anyone up first? First we have uh, Joe Fiala. Um, Joe Fiala, Joe Fiala, as I pronounce it? Joe Fiala was, uh, was voted most likely to use the same hair transplant service as LeBron James. <laughs> yeah, hopefully it's not as recognizable. Um, next we have uh, Sam Annis. Um, <laughs> He was voted most likely to have his last name purposefully mispronounced to be made fun of as a child. Sam Annis. No, no one gets that. Heard he's a big shit talker, Joe. Yeah, oh. Um, next we have uh, Justin uh, Agosta, or Agosta? Agosta? Uh, he was voted uh, most likely to need his eyebrow rotated in Photoshop. <laughs> The first time I, thought, I saw that, I thought that was Photoshop. Like, I, like there was no way that someone's eyebrow is like that. That's crazy. Anyway, uh, next we have uh, Bo Peeper. Uh, he was voted most likely to lose his sheep. <laughs> that, is, that, that is frightening. That is frightening. Um, <laughs> next we have uh, Derek Smith. Oh, that's my freshman. Uh, Derek Smith was voted most likely to fill Hep Creek with his tears. <laughs> or he may just have Ebola. <laughs> it looks a little sickly. Um, <laughs> uh, next we have uh, Tom Hilbrick. Uh, Tom Hilbrick was voted most likely to be the original brawny paper towel guy. <laughs> the original brawny paper towel guy was actually my Uncle Bob. No. I'm not even joking. That's not, that's, he, he got his picture drawn of him when he was at a gas station one time for $200. Wow. And then he showed up on brownie paper towels and that guy made millions of dollars who drew him. That's, wow. that's a completely true story. My, God, my uncle is the original brownie paper. But anyway, it's neither here nor there. <laughs> we'll, we'll, that's another day. Anyway, um, next we have Danny Federico. Um, he was voted most likely to bring his five kids to the hockey game. <laughs> Doesn't he look like, he looks Art. like Ty Burrell from Modern, he looks like the dad from Modern Family. <laughs> Do his kids dress up in the Teletubby suits? No, that's no, not them. That's not them? That's All right. not them. My bad. It's Nay on the Teletubby. Um, uh, next we have uh, Tommy Shutt. Uh, Tommy Shutt was voted most likely to have just seen boobs for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what my face was like. No, I'm just, I've never seen boobs. Um, 
Uh, next we have uh, Michael Gartig. He was voted most likely to be cast as Rolf in The Sound of Music. <laughs> I would sleep with him. Um, um, next we have uh, Andrew Taverner. Um, he was voted most likely to take candy from a stranger. <laughs> Such youthful charm. Look at that smile. Um, next we have Jacob Myers. He was voted most likely to be the stranger giving out the candy. <laughs> That is also frightening. You could also be the caveman guy from the Geico commercials. That really works. Um, and uh, lastly, we have Soren Johnson, um, and he was voted most likely to beat up Joe after the show. <laughs> so yeah, that's all we got for uh, that's all we got for Q superlatives. Uh, when we come back, we'll be with our guest. Um, who's our guest? I believe it's I believe it's Soren. Hey. Charlie, you want this? Yeah, absolutely. What's going on? Oh, I was just joking. I didn't actually want you. We were going to wait till after the show. Um, when, we come, when we come back, we have an interview with Mike Medina and Soren Johnson, everybody. Stay with us. Hey, what's up, man? How are we? We are your source for entertainment news. Okay, uh, we are back. Uh, our first guest. Um, is the assistant athletic director here. He is the head of intramurals and just a man who has truly never grown up. Um, Mike Medina, everybody. You didn't tell me it was going to be fireball in here. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. We ran out of water. We had to replace it with fireball. It's all right. Pitbull likes fireball. So yeah. I'm down um, with that. Good. I'm glad. I didn't mean, I don't, I didn't mean mature. I didn't mean you didn't grow up as in you're not mature. I meant as in you're, you're still, you got a little youthful charm. You're a kid. You like to play sports and that's what you do for a living. I'm right? living the dream right now. You are Absolutely. Living the dream. 100%. I come in every day to work. I'm happy. I'm surrounded by youth. Yeah. It helps keep me youth. I think between both uh, Java John and myself, you're right. really up the gray ante now, right now. Yeah, yeah. So, that's good. I, you know, we're targeting a little older demographic. Yeah. So I think we're reaching those 30-year-olds that you really wanted to pull into yes, the show. Yeah. We're, you're like the the Letterman. You can get you get those. That's a little older than, yeah, well, than me. But. Well, in relation to. Yeah, that's most probably people. right. Yeah. So. But yeah, thanks for. Uh, thanks for having me. Big no fan. Oh yeah. You well, been watching the show? I, a little bit. Yeah. It's on the YouTube. Every episode from last year. <laughs> well, the, no, no. I'm just, just you. Yeah. Thank you very much. No problem. Um, uh, so you're the uh, head of intramurals here. What is that like on a day to day? Like, what do you get to do? What do you? What are some of your? I get screamed at a lot. Right. Which is really the role of a By referee, students, students yeah. staff, anybody. Yeah. Um, you know, you you see a lot of fun with mm -hmm. competition, but it also means that you're going to get to see some people who lose their minds. Yeah. Which is a lot of fun as well. Right. Um, from our perspective, we laugh at those people. Yeah, you got to laugh um, at crazy people. But at the same time, it's awesome because I get to really work with young people. And and, deal with conflict and. Yeah, that's what I do a lot of. Yeah. So I know we have a lot of people here who play on intramurals right now, and yeah. one or two of them have probably lost their mind as well. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> So I, uh, it's all well and good. Good. Well, thank you for doing that. It's amazing. Like one of the most popular extracurriculars on campus for sure, and, and a lot of that has to do with the way you run it. But um, you're also a QU 101 professor, or you were, or you are. I am. I, and you're you're one of the few that is like able to make that class bearable out here. Uh, that's very nice of you. What have you been on my rate, my professor? Yes, I oh, have. Oh, that, uh, that's, that's how you got your uh, yeah. Your, and just you know, talk. So you know, it's it's a really interesting class to teach. Um, because you if you're pull, not boring. well, yeah. If you pull, you get to pull freshmen out of that shell. Right. You know, everybody comes in and they're just like this. Yeah. 
and to get them to actually open that See, mouth and talk. See, when the professor is like that too, it's a little hard. That's what it was like for me. <laughs> I kind of did that in class the other day. Yeah. I was the Facebook creep that started to pull up Facebook pages in class. Of, but it, of the students? Yeah, absolutely. Oh. I'm all about embarrassing my students in class to try and make things a little bit more life lessening. Well, you know. So, it was career fair day. So I was like, oh, how many of you went to the career fair? And like one kid raised his hand. Yeah. And uh, you know, I was like, well, this is what they're going to do. They get your resume. Yeah. They put your name in the Google. And then from there, up your comes your Facebook Toads, profile. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Saturday Night at Toads. Crazy. And uh, then they see your Twitter account. And from there, just it, it balloons. Well, at least you're giving them some, some life. Some I try. You were also you went to University of Maryland. Or? Yes, thanks for the uh, crabs and football yeah. Yeah. aspect. Oh of yeah, I didn't even realize so, that. No, it's okay. I'm clean. Wow. I mean, <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad you got checked. Um, but uh, and uh, for a bowl you too. were you involved with um, sports there? Did you do anything involved with sports there? Or I uh, actually broadcasted for the student radio station there. So oh wow. Very similar to the QBSN here. Um, and my senior year in Maryland actually won the national championship in basketball, which was back in oh, 2002. Yeah. So I got to go down to Atlanta. I was three rows courtside, broadcasting the game in the locker room after you the You broadcasted the national championship the game? The national championship game. Oh, that's cool. Jim Nance was here. <laughs> Mike Medina was here. Oh, wow. And there's a little bit different and stature again. and celebrity right now. Yeah. I, I've tried to reach that goal. No, not yet. Jim Nance was on How I Met Your Mother. This is my leaping point. That's the, I, was, yeah. I was always at a goal to be on a late night show. Now we're here. And here I am. Well, we're making steps. It's one step in the, in the, the chain up the, the ladder, Good. right? Um, you also recently uh, just had a baby, did you know? I, I didn't know that. Thank you. You did. I was there. <laughs> Good. So, I, I appreciate you I wasn't asking. aware if you, were, if you, if you had knowledge of, of the, the birth. Yeah. Every once in a while, he will scream and yeah. yell and let me know. Oh, is he up on the board right now? Oh, my God. Wait, is that, are these both him? No, 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 no. The one, the one on the left is me when I was a kid. Oh, wow. And then the one on the right you is my son, Dylan. You have very similar, strange eyes. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, you should see underneath his hat. He's Did got you both have like a pendulum in front of you? Like, well, he's got, he's got red hair. And oh, obviously that I'm does so not sorry. run with me. Oh, right. That's Because cool. I don't have that. But Charlie. I'm so sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Good luck as a father telling him it'll all be okay. <laughs> uh, can you come in into that in my house and let him know at an early age? It wouldn't help. Yeah, it wouldn't use, help. <laughs> use Charlie as like a somewhat successful ginger. Like, see, there's some of them here. If too. I'm his ceiling, it's all going downhill. <laughs> uh, but Mike, thank you for being on the show and thanks for doing everything you do. Um, we're gonna play a game with you later, but before that, um, we're gonna have another interview with Soren Johnson. So stay stay tuned for that, guys. Quinnipiac, it's the morning after. Hey! Come on, guys, it's time for TMA. Let's go! What's the morning after? Mondays at 10, only on Q30. We are your source for entertainment news. Okay, guys, we're back. Um, our next guest um, is a member of the QU hockey team. He was also an orientation leader um, and a person that I'm very aware can beat me up. Um, Soren Johnson, everybody. Um, I haven't touched that, so you can have it if you want. No, that's if you're right. a park. It's all you. It's all I know you're a big athlete. Sticky, so yeah, hydrate, right? Hydrate. Hydrate. We were just joking before, right? Ha! Mm -hmm. You like me? Yeah. We're friends. Yeah, we're cool. Don't worry. Yeah. Don't worry. Okay. Um, I won't be in the parking lot after. Cool, so cool. If we Which, North Lot? South Lot? No, I won't. I won't be there. Oh, okay. So, we won't right. be meeting there. Well, I'm outside Tater. If you All right. Know. I'm definitely not going to be there. Wrap up the show. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm running home as soon as this interview is over. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> um, Thanks for being on the show. Thanks for Thanks having me. Thanks for doing that little thing. That was cool. That was fun. 
Um, thanks for letting us make fun of you and your teammates. Always, always. We're, uh, we're excited for the season, right? We're getting. Yeah. Are you guys excited for the beginning of hockey season? It'll be good. It'll be fun. Season starts this Saturday, and uh, you got a big game. Who's who's it against? Uh, we're playing Bentley Saturday at home at for home. TD. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be How's fun. it looking? What's it? What's our chances? Come on. I think we'll be good. We'll be good. Let's talk. Let's talk real here. I mean, last week was exhibition. You know, we got a little. We 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 did a little. We had some trouble in yeah, exhibition. We, we had some trouble. You know, working out the kinks. Yeah, exactly. You know, right. pe people no were rip, people were ripping us on yik yak and all that. But you know, it it happens. Freshman. Yeah. Yeah. It is Stop what it is. Stop yik yakking, you know. people. <laughs> it's destroying our youth. No, yeah, exactly. Um, but. No, uh, but the team's looking good this year. You guys have yeah. some confidence. Yeah, we'll be good. You know, we got a solid decor, and our starting goalie's coming back, and it's a good group of guys. We brought in a lot of good freshmen, so. Yeah. Uh, the talent level will just be going up from here, and we'll just keep going after it. Yeah, um, when, when you got recruited here, uh, the national spotlight on the hockey team wasn't as, as big as it is now. Like, what's the experience been like, like coming in and seeing the program change so much? I mean, it's been unbelievable. Obviously, my freshman year going to Pittsburgh, playing in the Frozen Four was just yeah. unbelievable. I mean, yeah. just, you know, talk about spotlights on it and just coming and running. It was awesome. Yeah. So it's it's been really cool to see how kind of like the mentality of like the guys has changed and how it went from like obviously it's always been serious and everyone's wanted to win but it's it's at a whole nother level now everyone takes mm -hmm. it so seriously and it's just I mean we have our fun playing don't get me wrong like we love yeah. it the games are awesome mm -hmm. fans are unbelievable but um, it's real serious you know and there's no night where we're expecting to lose or we're okay with losing so every night we go yeah. out there we just want to take it to them and bring home two points. Well, you guys, you guys definitely do stuff throughout the year that I never could do. Not in terms of athletic ability, because we all know I can never do that. But just the commitment <laughs> and and the perseverance you guys have throughout the year and sacrificing social lives and your your academic life. It's it's truly amazing. Um, uh, and also, you you did something else that was like outside of the norm for for an athlete. You were an orientation leader this summer. How was that that experience? No, it was awesome. There's actually uh, I believe three athletes on staff: uh, me, Brittany, and uh, Devin from yeah. uh, acrobatics and tumbling and lacrosse. Mm -hmm. um, so was, it was a lot of fun. It was a great experience. Met a lot of people. Shout out to my partner Tammy. It was a great experience. Uh, yeah. Got to wear the polo, so it was, yeah, polo. It was a good time. It was a good time. Cool. Um, so just make sure you tell your friends and your teammates not to beat me up. It was all yeah, no, no. fun and games. We'll put up pictures in the locker room so they yeah. can know when they see you and Saab, we'll find you. Saab and Saad lock our doors later. Um, <laughs> Yeah, uh, I, know, I know where you live, right? Uh, yeah, That's great, fine. awesome, we're moving. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, when we come back, we're gonna play uh, a fun little uh, game with Soren and uh, Mike Medina and with Charlie, so stick around for that. Okay, we're back. Um, we are playing a game. I don't even know what I'm saying. You're, you're trying to talk strategy to me. I don't even know how to explain the rules. Um, so we're playing a game. We have, we have these five cups. Each player has five cups. The teams are me and Charlie and Soren and Mike. It's uh, late night versus athletes. Um, and what we're doing is um, we alternate and each need to get a ball, bounce a ball into one of the cups. So when I make one, uh, Charlie goes, and then I can't go until he makes one, and we go down the line, and whoever finishes their line first is the winner. Am I wrong that this is the next intramural sport, or is that what I, I heard? It could be. What do you think? I'd love it. Yeah. <laughs> Break out the shirts. I'm sure you yeah. could play like a variation of it, too, or yeah. something like that. Yeah. You can use uh, Gatorade. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. Cool. Sweet. Perhaps water. All right. Red yeah. Bull. Is there like a time limit, or is someone just going to say one, two, three, go? Cool. All right, so we're waiting for someone to say one, two, three, go. One, two, I'm going first. Wait, wait, who's, you guys know who's going first? He's going yes. first. All right, I'm going first. I've been nominated to go first. I don't want to go first. That's a lot of pressure. Yeah. How are we doing this? I have a hand tremor. <laughs> oh, we're back to back, right? Just stay in, no hip checks. Stay on your side. Box him out. I'm not the hockey guy. You don't stay have to worry about that. Box him out. Low man wins. One, two, three, go. 
Oh, wow. I feel your butt. <laughs> oh! Count. You gotta go in a row. You gotta oh. go in order. Are they? I hear a lot of. Oh! Focus! Oh, why? What? Oh, no. Oh, no. Not that one. Go. I'm really good at that cup there. Jesus and another Christ. one. There we but go. You mean it? Go. Yep. Go. Time. Is that? I think. Did, did they wrong. just beat us by like a millisecond? They beat us by the six you missed. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess they win. Um, guys. What are you doing? Come on, I'm trying. Let me. Okay, let me stand up. <laughs> Guys, that's all. That's all the time we have. Thanks for coming out. Um, <laughs> make sure you check our Twitter and our Facebook page at Late Night with Joe Cole, and go to the Q30 website, uh, Q30Television.com. Uh, we'll see you guys in two weeks. Thanks for coming out. <laughs>